Hi! Welcome! In this video, we're going to solve the reverse a string challenge from Free Code Camp's curriculum. We will analyze and solve the challenge and then we will test our code. Are you ready? Let's begin! I'm Estefania and it's great to have you here. This challenge is part of the JavaScript Algorithms and Data Structures certification. Let's start by analyzing the challenge. Here we have the challenge on Free Code Camp's website. The challenge is very concise. It tells us to reverse the provided string and return that reversed version of the string. So we know that we're going to get a string as the input and we know that we have to return a string. We get a string as the input as an argument and we have to return that string from the function, but reversed. So we have an example right here, hello should be this. But there is something that you should always consider when you're working with strings, that they are immutable. So anything you do to a string will only return a copy, okay? So you can never actually change a string. You can only create a new copy of the string. And that is exactly what we're going to do to create the reversed version of the string. We can test this with hello. We can also test this with howdy. And we can test this with a longer string, greetings from Earth. Great, so let's jump into Visual Studio Code and start coding. Right here, I am in my free code camp folder in my reverse a string file, a JavaScript file I just created. Let's close the explorer and I'm going to copy and paste the initial code from free code camp's website. You can do this by right clicking and selecting copy and paste, or you can do this with the keyboard shortcuts, control C and control V which on macOS are command C and command B. Great, so now I'm going to fix the indentation right here, and I'm also going to change the spaces. I'm going to do this in every single coding challenge of this series of videos, okay? I click here, select indentation, indent using spaces, and then I select two. So we can indent by pressing tab, but we are only going to get two spaces instead of four, which is like the common established convention for JavaScript. It's very common to see the code indented with two spaces. We see our initial function. Let's analyze it. We have the name of the function. We have our parameter, which is str, which stands for string. And then we see that we are returning the same string. That's not what we want, we have to transform that in a way that will return the reversed version of this string. And then we see right here a test case with the string hello. This should return the reversed version. So after we implement this, the output should be this. Let's begin. First of all, we need to think about how we're going to start approaching the challenge. Analyzing the coding challenge is one of the most important things you can do because it will save you a lot of coding time. We need to find a way to reverse the string, but we know that strings are immutable, so we cannot actually mutate them or modify them. We will need to transform that string into another data type that can be mutated. And what are we going to do? Well, we're going to split that string to convert it into an array, which is something that we can manipulate or modify. To do that, we are going to use the split method. If we go to MDM Web Docs, which is like a, an open documentation by the Mozilla Developer Network, you will find the split method. This method takes a pattern and divides a string into an ordered list of substrings by searching for that pattern. So we're basically going to split the string by the character that we pass as an argument right here. If we pass a space, then we're going to get a, an array with all the different words in the string. We're going to split the string at the spaces. Okay, so that's exactly what we're going to do first with split. Let me take that string and split it like this. 
But you will notice something if we use the space like in the example that we had in the documentation. Let's see. Let's just, instead of returning it right here, I am going to print it with console.log. I'm just showing you all the logic and the analysis that goes into solving one of these challenges. You have to think about how you want to implement your solution step by step and find the relevant information in the documentation. That would be my first step, transforming this into an array. But if we split the string at the spaces, we are not considering something very important. Let me show you. I'm going to move this to the right and I'm going to run. You can see that I get an array, but I'm only getting one string, one element in that array. Hello. Why? Because I am splitting the string at the spaces and this particular string doesn't have spaces. That's not what we want. We want to split the string by the individual characters so we can reverse the order and then transform them back into a string. So instead of writing a space here, I'm going to write an empty string. And now you will see the, the difference in the output. Let me show you. If I press the up key on my keyboard, I can repeat the last command I ran in the terminal. And voila, we have hello. But now we have all the individual characters split into different elements of the array. That is exactly what we need because we want to reverse the order. So we will have to reverse the array, which is something that we can do because arrays are mutable. Strings were not mutable. They were immutable. But now an array is something that we can work with. So we're one step closer to our solution. Great. Now we need to find a way to reverse that array. First, let me close this panel, the terminal. And after we have that split string, I am going to define a variable to store that array. You could also write this as chars array. I think this is more concise, so let's name it chars array. We have the characters array. We're splitting the string at the characters. And then we have to find a way to reverse the array. How are we going to do this? Well, after we are at the Mozilla Web Docs documentation, let's write reverse array. The first thing that we can see right here is the reverse method. Let's click on it. And that is exactly what we need. The reverse method reverses an array in place. So it actually modifies the array in memory. It mutates the array. And then it returns a reference to the same array. So we can continue working with it in our code. So let's do that. This is an example of what happens to the array. We have the array with one, two, three. And then when we call the reverse method, we can see that the order of the elements was completely reversed. Now we see three as the first element and previously it was the last. So that is what we need to do with the characters. We need to reverse their order. So let's go back to Visual Studio Code. And now we are going to define a variable called reversed array. We're going to take the characters array and we are going to reverse it. Remember that reverse is an array method. It's not a string method, so we cannot call it directly on the string. First, we're going to split it. Then we're going to reverse the array with the reverse method. And now we're going to see what we get. Let's print the reversed array and see what we have at this point in our code. Remember that we're still calling the function because I have the test case right here. So let's open the terminal again. Let me resize this so you can see the code. And now let's run the same command again. We see hello, but reversed. Previously, we had this array, hello, with all the individual characters. And now we reversed the order, thanks to this method. And notice that we are working with the same array. 
Okay, this array has been mutated. It's the same array that we had right here. And to prove that, let me show you this. If I don't assign the array to a new array, like this, I'm not creating a new variable. I am just working with the same array and this method is going to mutate it. Let me show you what happens. We're printing the same array. Voila. The charts array was mutated just by calling reverse. So we don't actually have to assign it to a variable. It's not necessary because we would be creating like two variables for the same object in our code. And then after we have the characters array already reversed, we need to find a way to convert that array back into a string. Let me close this panel and let's focus on that. I'm going to add some comments right here. Split the string. Reverse the array. And now we need to find the way to create a string from the reversed array. How can we do that? Well, we have a method that is particularly helpful for that. If we go to MDM web docs and we search for join, that is the method that we need in this case, array.prototype.join. Join is a method that creates and returns a new string, exactly what we need, by concatenating all of the elements in an array separated by comma or a specified separator string. So we're going to create a new string from all the elements that we have currently in the array. And remember that our array is reversed, so that will be the finishing touch to implement our solution. Let's do that. Create a string from the reversed array. In this case, since we are creating a string, I am going to define a variable called reversed string. And let me remove these comments so we have more concise code. And I think now you kind of get the idea of what we are doing. Chars array, we call the join method. And how are we going to join those characters? Let's see what happens if I don't pass any values for join. Let's see what we get by default. To see that, let's print reversed string. Right here, I have to add a D, okay? Reversed string. Okay, so now let's open up our terminal. We're going to start with a new terminal, okay? Because we already had many commands and different outputs there. But you know how this code is working already. Okay, so we call reverse a string dot JavaScript. And now you can see that by default, we are getting all the characters separated by a comma. And that is not what we want. We want them to be part of the same string without any characters in between. So to do that, we just need to pass an empty string to join here. That will tell the method that we want to join all the elements in the array with an empty string, which is basically equivalent to saying that we don't want to have any characters between the elements. So let's open the terminal again and let's run this command. And now voila, we do see hello, which is exactly what we wanted. The reversed version of this string. Awesome, right? So now we are getting the reversed string and we can finally return it from the function reversed string. Be careful not to omit this D letter because otherwise you will be referring to the function instead of the variable that we just defined. Awesome, now let's test our code with the test cases that we have on Free Code Camp's website. First we have hello. We already tested that, but let's check this with con console.log, console.log, since we are returning the value now instead of printing it inside the function. 
If we open the terminal and we run the command again, we see hello, exactly what we needed. And now we are returning that string from the function. Our second test case is howdy. Let's copy and paste this. You can also write it directly here. And if we run the code again, we see howdy reversed, exactly what we needed. Awesome. And finally, we have greetings from Earth. This is a very nice test case because it tests how we are handling spaces. Are we taking spaces into account when we reverse the string? Let's see what we get. Greetings from Earth. And now, voila, we are adding the spaces here. We are keeping the spaces and we see greetings from earth so we're basically like reversing the words individually too and we're also incorporating the spaces into our result that's great so we can confirm if the coding challenge was correct by submitting our solution let's do that let's close this panel and let's copy and paste our function here copy and then we paste it right here you can also use keyboard shortcuts great we don't see any output here because we're not actually calling the function in on free code camp but if we just define the function here and we run the tests we will see that yes the coding challenge was implemented correctly we completed the second challenge from the basic algorithm scripting course there are many ways to solve this problem. For example, we could write cleaner code. And let me tell you that we can solve this in just one line by using method chaining. This is like a more advanced technique than defining the variables like this one by one, but it's something that could be helpful for you to write cleaner code. So let's see what it is. We're basically going to create a chain of method calls. And we're going to get the same result that we got with four lines of code in just one. Let's do that. If we don't define this variable and we just split the string and then we reverse the array returned by this part, here we are getting the array, then we are reversing it. And finally, we are joining all the elements from the array. And we are basically creating like a chain of method calls that will operate on the previous result. This is going to return an array and the returned array will be reversed. And then from that reversed array, we are going to join all the elements with an empty string and we are going to get the final reversed string. And finally, we can return that result. Let's test this. If we start a new terminal so we don't see the previous output we can run the command and we see exactly what we had to see greetings from earth reversed awesome right we can also test this with hello that is correct too and we can also test this with howdy howdy awesome all the test cases worked. And if we submit this function to FreeCodeCamp, we confirm this like this, and we run the tests, we will see that all the tests pass too. So that was great. We can submit our challenge and go to the next one. You can see that there are many ways to implement a particular solution. So this is one approach that you can take. Great, I hope you liked this video and now you can reverse a string in JavaScript. I will see you in the next coding challenge of this series of videos.